hi everyone and welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to talk about another uh, problem and we, we are going to solve it okay so this is this problem is all about event emitter order processing this is a hacker rank problem and uh, this is for getting the basic node.js certification okay so we will solve it and we will get a certification okay so what we are doing here is uh, we have been given a task to write an order processing script that takes the order data as an input performs a few checks validations and all blah 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 okay so here this is what we need to do we need to create a processor.js that implements following set of functionality that file should export this and inherit the event emitter class so maybe some kind of event emitter class uh, we need to create and then we need to just use this node.js events to emit the event and handle the event somewhere okay let's see this this is your this is our payload order number line items and all okay and uh, these all different events we are going to process processing started failed processing success okay so what i see here is a json file which we have is the id and stock so from the readme file what i understood here is we need to write a processor.js file which is going to have a processor class which is going to extend the event emitter class okay and this is the payload we are going to get here in this payload this these line items can be a single array or multiple array based on the item id we will check in the stock list if this item is available then process it otherwise throw these different kind of events okay so like you are start you will receive this payload in the place order method this we are writing accepts the order payload and then based on the line items we will look into the stock list and we will check can we process this order based on the quantity do we have the quantity available for this item id or not so we will just emit all these events this is what we need to do the class should emit the following following events when this method starts executing place order you will execute you will emit processing started then processing failed if these criteria is not able to match because we have you can say we have the inventory and we are getting the order from somewhere if the order id and the capacity doesn't match with whatever is available then we are going to throw insufficient to life uh, line items are empty sometimes you are sending the line items empty then we have to throw this so we you have to read this carefully should be fired for any reason right processing field if uh, and this event this field event should also emit the data all these data item id and the reason reason can be insufficient stock and line items are empty okay the example is like this so you, we have this json object which has id and stock okay and based on this payload we will decide do we have the stock available or not okay so this is our processor.json what we are going to do is this processor.json is extending the event emitter class let me just zoom it a little bit so this is really a, a i mean really nice problem when it comes to node.js rest all problems are all about cred apis and all which are simple right so what we are going to do is it is going to extend event emitter which we already imported if this is extending event emitter then you will be writing a constructor and constructor should be calling the parent class constructor using super keyword so that we can have all the methods and here we are getting the stock list which is a mock json let's create a variable for this so that our class can access it okay we don't need to reference stock list every time this dot stock can be shared in all the methods now here we need to write a place order method and we already know place order will take a payload right and now the interesting part is there is a class which is extending the event emitter so all the methods of the event emitters are now available this dot emit this dot listeners right and what we need to do is once this method starts execution we need to emit this processing started event with the order number so this is our payload 
if you see if you look at the test also you will come to know what payload we are sending this is what payload we are calling in the the place order method the line type line items can be empty can have something this is the order number right so always also look at the test cases what they are doing you will get an idea uh, how what you are doing if you are on the right track or not so this is the order number and line items so we are getting the order number and line items and we already know uh, the criteria that uh, processing started should be fired and it should it should uh, emit the order number right so what we can do is whenever we are emitting this we can emit the order number now here we got the payload so we can get the items items means line items payload dot uh, we have line items so we got the line items now we need to do a check if these items are empty or not because there is already a constraint in the readme file if line items are empty then we can simply go ahead and say is we can't process it processing field so if you go and read me just look at this again processing started should be fired just before the validations we are firing it processing failed should be fired for any reason okay now what all different reasons are there if the line item property is blank array the check should fail with the reason line items empty we need to pass these three properties while raising a failure event reason is a line items empty so we got the first reason okay item dot length we are going into the else case and we are saying this dot emit this dot emit and we are going to emit the processing field event with this payload right so we have this processing success processing started similarly there is an event processing failed and what all data we have order number which is payload dot order number and reason is we already got this from the readme file line items line items empty okay so we are on the right track till now what if we got the items now here we need to do all the checks we need to look into our uh, stock current stock which is available and check all the capacity is matching or not for each and every row item that's important so i mean everybody can understand okay this needs to be done but the logic will become little complex here we got the items so we will uh, iterate on to each and every item so we can say const item of items const item of all the items and here we will extract out the item id and quantity because this is what we are getting in the payload our payload look, looks like this item id and quantity we will receive so we got the item id and quantity now we need to check does this item item particular item is available in the stock with this quantity or not right so we need to write a method which will do these kind of checks so we will just say is validate item in stock and here we will pass item id and quantity because we are checking if this particular item is available or not now we what we will do is we already have the stock dot find and which particular item we need to find where this id is matching so here we need to check two things item dot id first of all we need to find this item id in the stock and then we need to check if this stock is greater than or equal to the quantity if we have the stock available that means the stock is available we are good 
but if we are not good then we need to do something right if we are good we will return null if we are not good then we will return both of these things what we can just return is item id and quantity so from this method we can see if this method is returning null that means everything is fine so here we can just write a reverse condition const we can say is invalid or let's say is item available okay so in that case is item not available let's create a reverse condition is item not available if this is null that means item is available this dot validate item in stock and we are passing item id and quantity good and here we can see if this is null that means we are good and here we can if uh, is item not available i mean if it is true that means we need to raise a failure event so this is what we will do is processing failed and the only additional thing we are adding is item id and here we go to the readme and see what which particular event we need to raise list item empty insufficient stock okay so for any iteration i mean there are you are getting 10 items 10 line items for each and every item you are checking the validations if this fails for even for one then you will just uh, emit this particular event and you will emit it n number of times whenever it is failing so it is checking for each and every item is item not available if this is coming null that means item is available so we are just writing a reverse condition nothing else okay now module dot, dot export processor we can just check by running tests okay all the test cases are passing now only single tests but this was interesting right so this is the second problem of the basic certifications and we are done uh, thanks everyone